All right, today I'm going to show you how to make some baby back ribs on the master built 30 inch electric smoker. I'm going to uh, preheat it, which I always do without any wood chips in it. Give it about 10 or 15 minutes to warm up before I put the wood chips in. I'm going to set the temperature to 225 and I'm going to set the time to 3 hours and 15 minutes which is normally about how long I let it warm up before I put the wood chips in. And now I've set it and it's warming up. Alright, here we got the uh, baby back ribs that I got from the local butcher and uh, they do a pretty good job of cleaning them up but um, <clears throat> there's always this membrane on the inside that uh, you want to try to get off. I've already started it. Kind of got to get your fingernail or a knife or something up underneath of it. Some people don't even take it off but I like to because then it allows the, the rub and the, the salt to get into the meat a little bit better. But as you can see it can be a little tricky. Like I said this one I've already started. wouldn't expect them to come up that easy when you're doing them. Alright, so I got that there. A little bit of fat on the end I'm going to take off. What I like to do is add a little bit of kosher salt to it. Of course, put it on both sides. Then after I got them salted up, I take them, and I got uh, Kenny Bear's Barbecue Rub. It's a really good rub that uh, my wife actually got a taste of down in South Florida <clears throat> and decided that it was her favorite flavoring, so we ended up ordering it online. I said it's Kenny Bear's Barbecue Rub. And with this, sprinkle it on both sides, and of course also on the edges. You can get a nice heavy coat on there. both sides. As you can see I like a lot of flavoring on it. Try not to miss any of it. I think every piece of exposed meat is just a, another way for us to get more flavor into it. Alright, looks like they're starting to get pretty well coated now. Another once over here. Nice and coated. Now, our smoker's been heating up for about 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is take these outside, put them in the smoker, and uh, add some wood and get it started. All right, now we're back at the smoker. Got our ribs all prepared with the, the Kenny Bears uh, barbecue rub on there. Uh, the smoker's heated up very nicely. It's actually a little bit high right now. Shows that it's in the 230s. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out using some cherry wood chips and unload it here on the side. Always put some foil down the bottom because when you go to switch it out, when you go to move the ribs around, you get a lot of drippings on the floor and it's a lot easier to clean up when you got a little aluminum foil down there to just pick up after you. Alright, I don't want to load it up too much, but I like to get it started. Load it back here on the side. Okay. Wood in there. And this 
this and get started. Let me grab my gloves. And on this, to get them started, get the smoke flavor in there, I'm going to start out on the, the middle racks here. And the uh, nice thing about the, the Masterville 30 inch is it seems to fit a rack of baby back ribs exactly perfect. So you're not cutting them in half or anything like that. Always start them out just as they are without any aluminum foil on it so they get as much flavor on it from the wood as possible. Alrighty. Now, we got them in there. And we're just going to let them keep cooking. Um, here in a few minutes, the smoke will start rolling out because temperatures now drop down to about 204, which is causing it to heat back up. It's got the heating light on, and that's going to cause the wood to start smoking really strong. Okay, we're uh, back at the smoker. It's about 10 minutes since I loaded the ribs up, and uh, just wanted to show you the uh, the nice smoke coming out the side, and you can see on the uh, the glass how the smokers filling up with smoke um, you just you know want the smoke to kind of kiss off the meat and give it some flavor the heat itself is going to help cook it but I uh, just wanted you to see so that if you're using the, the Masterbuilt 30 you know what to expect as far as smoke and uh, how long it'll take but like I said it's been about 10 minutes okay it's been about an hour and a half now the ribs have been in the smoker and uh, what we're going to do is just check on them, check on the wood, and uh, see how that's doing. Uh, whenever you open this up, you want to make sure you're a little ways away. Don't have your face right in it because of smoke coming out and the heat. As you can see, we're getting a uh, nice little browning on the ribs. And what I like to do is actually flip them over, get the, get the meat side down, to make sure that the meat is directly in the line of the heat for the next hour and a half. And as you can see, they're looking real good with the uh, Kenny Bear's rub on there. And slide that back in. And I also like to check down here the wood chips, taking uh, the stirs up a little bit. Sometimes the ash will get in the way of actually making the wood smoke. As you can see, the, the smoke's cut down a little bit. So actually what I'm going to do, I think I'll just add a couple more here just to help it smoke a little bit more. This cherry wood's actually giving it a real good smell and a real good flavor. So just add a couple more, like I said, not, uh, not as much as before. Close that back up, and uh, we'll close it back up here, and uh, we'll wait about another hour and a half. And uh, after that, the ribs, the meat will actually be cooked, but it won't quite be fall off the bone uh, baby backs like uh, everybody seems to like. So we'll wrap it up in some foil and put it in there for about another two hours and see where we're at. So. Right now, just from having the door open for that minute or so, temperature's gone down to right under 200. Every time you open the door and it goes down, it causes that heating element to come on, and it shows on here that it's heating. What that does is heats the wood chips back up, creates more smoke, and adds more flavor. All right, it's been, uh, it's been about two and a half hours now since we put the ribs in here, and uh, they should be nice and smoked by now. Um, should be cooked pretty much through and through and to keep them from drying out we're going to wrap them up in some aluminum foil and we're going to put some uh, sweet baby rays barbecue sauce on them I got it uh, back here ready to spread on the ribs we're going to put a nice light coat on there and uh, that way it helps soak in for the last few hours now if you notice they're pretty well cooked but they're not quite <clears throat> fall off the bone yet. And that's what uh, the next two hours of cooking are going to do. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to brush these. 
pretty generously. And when you wrap them up in foil with the barbecue sauce on them, it really helps them soak in and uh, makes them really juicy and tender. You'll notice on a lot of your uh, your guides and recipes, it'll tell you that on uh, baby back ribs that it takes you about two and a half to three hours. And that's actually to get it cooked up to temperature so that it is actually uh, fully cooked and edible. But like I mentioned earlier, everybody likes them so that they're fall off the bone. Now, the nice part about it is cooking them this way the, uh, the Kenny Bears dry rub that we put on there really stuck on there very well and uh, really adds a lot of flavor to it. And we got, uh, got the first one done. Fold these over. here. Make sure to get both sides. Probably going to be right at about another two hours before they're actually done and uh, nice and tender. Add a little bit more sauce here. Let's see, let's get those in there, get them out of the way. On the last half of the cooking, it's not as important that you have a lot of smoke rolling out with an electric smoker because they are wrapped in foil. So a lot of that flavor is really just going to go on the outside of the, the aluminum foil. It's not actually going to soak into the meat. Good part about it is with the electric smokers, they keep a nice steady temperature for a long period of time. So you don't have to add a lot of wood and All right, get these nice and brushed. See all the Spices on there. Now with the uh, applewood chips that we used, it's uh, definitely got a really good smell of great aroma. All right, one more to go. I try to keep the the fold side up so when it's folded the uh, the juices don't run out the bottom so I put the bones up in the air and then that way again the meat side is down closest to the flame and keeps the heat directly on the meat nice and low and slow Baby back ribs are looking good, aren't they? Wrap this last one up. There's one thing you don't have to worry about when you make the baby back ribs, and that is storing a lot of leftovers. Because typically, they eat them pretty well, pretty fast. So, that's that. I'm going to uh, shut it back up here, and I'm going to adjust the time, the time on it. 
set the time. Add two hours to it. Set. And I'm going to come back and check it out periodically just to see how it does. Probably about another hour, hour and a half. See if I need to pull them out a little bit early. Right now the temperature's dropped down to 181. So it's going to, like I said before, heat back up. It's going to cause whatever re remaining wood chips we have in there to start smoking. And um, basically cook the ribs the rest of the way. All right. It's been a... Uh, Another two hours now, and the, uh, the ribs have been in there with the aluminum foil on them. And uh, they should be getting nice and tender now. And let's open it up and see what we got. Ready? Let's take out the ribs. Let's look at one of them here. Ready? There we go. A nice rack of baby back ribs and looks like they're getting pretty tender right there. They just peel right apart. I'm sure uh, these won't take long to get eaten up. But you can see they, they break apart nice and easily and pretty clean on the bone right there. Alrighty, and for all of you that want to do this at home, just so that you know, basically all you need is the, the kosher salt, which you can get at uh, pretty much any grocery store. Kosher salt's a lot different than regular salt. doesn't have quite the, the salty taste, um, but it still has some of the same elements to it, but not quite as salty. Also, the Kenny, Kenny Bears barbecue rub, and with that... Um, it's actually from South Florida, so it's not something you can buy in every grocery store. It's a really great blend. You can get that at uh, southerngourmetspice.com. That's southerngourmetspice.com. And then Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. Uh, they actually make that up in Chicago, but uh, a lot of places have it. Not every grocery store, but if you can't find it in your grocery store, just go to sweetbabyrays.com. And... That's it for the baby back ribs and the Masterbuilt 30-inch electric smoker.